the real. Hello and welcome to the new video. Today we have 10 inch Asus EE -E -E PC 1015. Uh, we are going to do an upgrade with an SSD 120 gigabytes. I think so. Let me see. I didn't do check. Yeah, 120 gigs. Focus, 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 focus. And the manufacturer is a pacer. Animal. Panther. All right. And yeah, we are going to change thermal paste and to clean it up. Let's begin with this video. All right. Always first, what you want to do is to remove battery. Battery removed. We have four screws under the battery. So one, two, three, and four. We need something like something like this or credit card that you are not using anymore is useful. So go around this at this place and now easily All right, and here a little push and it is out. Now, what do we have in here? Do we have some screws? I don't think so. So lift the keyboard and you have this ribbon. Pull this through and remove the keyboard. Or, oh my god, this is so dusty. All right, now this and ribbon. Close it. Now we have two screws in here. All right. Now let me check. Uh, do we need? Oh, uh -huh. we have two more in here. And one in here, and one in here, and what is this? Yeah, it is a screw, one in here, and in here, this one pop up, yeah, this, and one in here. Put it away. Credit card or this kind of shit. So we want to let me just easily right, all right, all right, all right. And now in here easily. Go with a blue. I think we have one more screw and it is under this coverage for warranty. But since this laptop is from 2011 or 10, I don't know, the warranty is out. So now, what do we want? We want to open this and this and to remove the ribbons. Close it. Close it. Uh, let's let's move it from here. Open, open, close, close. Remove ribbon, remove ribbon. All right, now the HDD holder. We want to unscrew these two screws. That's holding the case for HDD, and to pull it out. Yep. And now we also want to 
fully removed motherboard to clean it out go easy with this you can break it easily I have a lot of experience so it is easier for me you just do it slowly all right this is for battery CMOS <clears throat> all right we have some of this shit and this is connected through here and this is through here and now we want to unscrew a few screws let's do it with this one display and I think no nope, we have screws in here all right anywhere else no nope, that's it uh, and the motherboard is free let's just put it in there all right so what I want to do now is to take vacuum cleaner and to clean the dust from this bottom part cover your ears there is always some dust so when you take the isopropyl it evaporates fast and you have a clean case with a lot of dust covered all right now motherboard it is also very dusty do this out now we have i think these two that holds it into its place so one and two all right let me just check here and cleaning And always take care of static electricity. You could damage this board. Now let's apply thermal paste, Arctic MX4, just a tiny grain, don't put too much. All right, and it is in there. We have changed thermal paste. All right, the motherboard is finished. Now let's put it back into its case. So 
take care of the cables it needs to go really fine all right we have five two four five yeah five all right now let's put this inside like this place it down there two screws so one goes in here and one on the left <clears throat> and one in the left side all right plug this cables in it all right and now this one all right now display cable display cable is inside and we should have put the cables down there but uh, we're going to do it this way now ssd so always check this side and this side is supposed to go like this four screws go like this all right so i suppose this should go like this also uh, what the frick yep all right now let's put SSD inside, so take it, put it inside, press it, take the two screws from the beginning. And I think that's it. Yeah, we need to put these ribbons, ribbon cables, so motherboard, close it. IO, press it, close it. It needs to align with this line. Again, uh, motherboard, open it. Come on, open. What a freak. What a freak. Motherboard, close it. IO. Close it and it's aligned. Now let's remove this for a bit. We need to vacuum this part. All right, the warranty screw has gone. The vacuum cleaner took it. May vacuum rest of your soul. Screw soul. All right, let's use this isopropyl for a bit. I see a few thingies in here that needs to be cleaned. Right this time. Uh, in here, let's see. Looks nice. Let's put it in here. What about the keyboard? Keyboard looks awful. All right. I can clean up. I need a toothbrush. I need a toothbrush. All right, now it looks nice. I think so. 
Yep, good as new. All right, now this is looking fancy. Yeah, you can see the traces of opening. Someone just broke this down. So, what do we want? We want just a little bit of cotton, ISO profile, shoop shoop, and now clean. Clink, 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 clink. All right. All right. Now, what do we want? We want this. Oh my God, why I didn't put this inside of it? I don't know. To put it in here, just close it and press it down. So click, 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 click. All right, now let's connect. Touchpad. And now keyboard. So put it like this, open the brackets. And put it in here. Close it down. Put the keyboard inside like this. Now you want to put this closure like this. it this thing is in here all right now four screws this one screw it in battery it's closed I get a little bit more all right the charger is inside let me just turn it on function keys to BIOS Reboot and select proper boot device. So now I'm going to install Windows 7. I'm sure that you don't want to watch that. So that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. This was a fast tutorial how to open EEPC from 2011. Uh, yeah, uh, when you open your laptop, uh, take a time, do not uh, rush it up. Uh, you will for sure fucked up something and if you have enjoyed in this video hit the like button if you want to add some comments you have a comment section down below if you want to subscribe go and subscribe and if you want to donate you have a link down there in the description in the description and yeah that's it goodbye